Jacob here with Cultivate, CultivateColorado.com. Today, we're gonna to be going over some cloning essentials. The first place to start would be answering the question, what is a clone? A clone is a cutting taken off of a plant that you root individually that will have the exact same genetic makeup as the mother plant it came off of. Clones are very easy to take, common to the misperception, and can be taken from most any plant. Some plants are harder to root, while some root very easily. So let's get into some of the key basics for cloning. First off, you start with your tray. There's many different options for trays, trays that have holes in it, trays that are double thick and sturdy, trays that have a mesh bottom, kind of for different applications and different plants that roots are gonna want different amounts of water. One of my favorite products is these two products right here, which actually are a tray the plug and an insert all in one. The only thing you don't have is the plant or the dome. This one here, the Root Riot, actually comes with the cloning gel as well. So if you're looking to try cloning for your first time, this is a great place to start. Some people like to do their own thing and like to make it fit in their own way. For that, we have many different applications. A product like this, which would be a peat-based plug, the Root Riots. These come in bags of 50, 100, or super cases of 1,500. That way you can fill your own trays and reuse your own trays and not have to buy the whole kit every time. One of the tried and true technologies and methods in cloning has always been Grodan. They make a lot of great products as you can see all over here from everywhere from a one and a half inch all the way up to a four inch starter block. They also make these macro plugs that fit directly into their bigger blocks. I know if you've ever seen the Hugo or anything that has the hole cut out in it, these slip directly into there. And again, you can choose these, use them with any tray, 50 cell, 72 cell that you'd like. Grodan terracotta trays are a must if you're using Grodan products. The one and a half inches as well as the macro plugs fit perfectly into these slots. You put this right into your tray, that way your plants aren't just sitting in water soaking them up and it gets the roots a chance to actually grow downwards and not just stay stagnant. This product right here, Super Sprouter Airlift, also a very cool product. You can use this with any of these but very good for these sort of slabs. Set them right on there. Same kind of idea when you want to drain them, you just pop them out, tilt them to the side, let them drain, pop them back in. Another great product, the clone shipper. Everybody knows sometimes you have a clone somewhere and you want to get it somewhere else. These things are awesome. Right here, holds the clone in place, twists tight, doesn't leak any water. Also has a little ancillary light to keep the plant awake during shipping. Take this. Go throw it in the box. What you do with it after that is on you. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Last but not least, this is one of my favorite products for cloning. This is Elite 91 Clones. This is a dip just like the Clonex, but it's not a gel. It's actually a liquid, and it's actually an alcohol-based liquid. Very sterile, very effective. You can reuse it multiple times. Just make sure you don't leave your plant sitting in it because it will burn. For any more information on any of these other additional items, please click the links below. All stuff we have in stock and ready to ship just like the clone shippers today. Then comes to the solutions. I always suggest using the same brand throughout the whole way. This right here is Clonex, which is probably the most popular on the market. They make a gel for dipping your cuttings into before it goes in. They make a solution for treating the blocks before you put your clones in as well as while the clones are propagating. They also make a mist that you can spray directly on the cuttings, keep them green, perked up. Real lively. Lastly, we have my favorite products for cloning, which would be the Easy Cloners, which is a water-based spraying system inside of these containers. They make many different sizes from 32 all the way up to 128, as well as even bigger commercial sizes. These are kind of a, you take the cutting, you put it in there, water, Make sure your water is cold. If you're in a warm environment, you're gonna need a chiller. But this will constantly spray or do spraying on like a four minute on, one minute off type of situation so that your roots are gonna grow quickly without any sort of medium. This is great for deep water culture, water buckets, air buckets, anything on that sort. One of the most common questions we have about cloning is what's the correct size to take? People have all sorts of preferences on this. Some people like to take big, long cuttings with multiple different uh, heads and offshoots. Some people like to take real small cuttings. I personally like to take my cuttings with about two leaves to the top of it, 
So on the shorter side and real cleaned up, just, just my preference seem to have better success. Another question people have is what do I do if I'm cloning my clones indoors and planning on taking them outside? There's a couple different processes you can do. The most common would be called hardening off of the clones, which would be taking your clones from inside and make sure you don't put them directly in the sun. You want to put them somewhere in an intermediary shady area, maybe like even inside your front doorstep with the window open, just so they get acclimated to the outside air. Oftentimes, if you're in an arid, hot environment, you take them from inside where it's nice and humid, they're going to die or fry right away. Another way you could do it is removing the dome multiple times throughout the day just to kind of get the plants used to that non-humid environment so there's not as much of a shock when you end up taking them outside. For any information on these products that you didn't get here in this video, please click on any of the links below and make sure to subscribe, like, unsubscribe, resubscribe, and like again.